Jazz Miner is officially the king of Ethereum Classic. They just announced a new miner, the X16-P, and this will be the most profitable, the most powerful, the most efficient Ethereum Classic miner to hit the market. Currently making around $12 a day, but you already know we are at all-time lows. If we get back to those all-time highs, this miner is going to be making around... Ah, We're going to talk about that here in a minute. Plus, so much more. I'm your host, Tech Hustler. Oakley Doakley, welcome to another video. And if it's your first time here, my name's Tech Hustler. We mine cryptocurrency here, but we also go over the latest crypto projects and we even review websites and applications that you can start using right now to make a little bit of crypto on the side. So if you like that, Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and while you're down there hit that like button too that's the number one thing you can do to support my channel and as always i have to let you know that i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice this is for educational and entertainment purposes only as of the recording date of today's video which is june 13th 2023 Real quick, I like that right there, ETC commodity. So anyways, the current price of Ethereum Classic, and that's going to be ETC on the ticker, is sitting at $15.13. Currently up almost 1% over the last 24 hours, but you know how it goes. We are down from that all-time high over... 90 percent now that all-time high was 176 dollars and 16 cent that was just two years ago on may 6 2021 now like i always ask in the comments down below do you think ethereum classic will get back to this all-time high maybe in the next bull run when bitcoin starts to moon if I was a betting man, I'd say around 2025, but remember not financial advice. Now, currently this miner, the X16-P makes around $12 a day. But if we were at all time highs, if we had a $176.16 Ethereum Classic, this miner, would be making almost 140 days so just a reason to huddle your coins let's check out jingle mining and jazz miner so i'm just now calling jazz miner the king of ethereum classic miners but in reality they have been the king for a long time and all the other miner manufacturers are just playing catch up now powerful efficient profitable ethereum classic miners is nothing new to jingle mining and jazz miner this is what started it all for me the jazz miner x4 1 u this melted faces with the profitability and efficiency and then they did it again oops they did it again they came out with these server styles, these quiet servers, the X4-Q. This is 1,040 mega hashes. Then we have an 840 mega hash version right there. Then we have the 1950 mega hash version right there. Now, not only are these miners profitable, powerful, and efficient, but they are borderline silent. Now, you can run these miners indoor probably in your bedroom and you're still going to be able to fall asleep you're not going to have to worry about any loud fans screaming but it will produce a little bit of heat now other than ethereum classic miners jingle mining they are an official and a trusted miner distributor and i do have a discount code i will have linked in the description down below but with all that being said let's go ahead and let's check out the jazz miner x16-p 5800 mega hashes and here it is, the Jazz Miner X16-P, 5,800 mega hash, and I believe it's doing this at 1,900 watts. Now, 
let's go ahead and talk about it the elephant in the room this miner costs nine thousand four hundred and twelve dollars now that's pretty expensive that could be a down payment on a house so definitely do your own research as always before you purchase any crypto miners you really have to believe in the crypto market ethereum classic all of the above to pay this price but remember if we get back to those all-time highs this miner hypothetically allegedly possibly could be making around 140 dollars a day but the thing is when are we going to get to them all-time highs are we ever going to see all-time highs again once again do your own research this is not financial advice i'm just reviewing the new miner now i would love to get one of these but me personally i'm not going to spend ten thousand dollars on a miner but if i had tens of millions of dollars maybe i would now let's go over some of these specifications right here so the advantage they say high throughput now ooh, ethw plus zil etc plus zil so this should be able to mine um dual mine zil and ethereum classic on f2 pool and easel me easy me mining we're gonna check it out here in a second anyways coin supported of course etc zil eth f eth w and the list goes on and on and on but really the only thing we care about is ethereum classic zilliqa or mining with this and getting paid out in bitcoin now the ram is eight gigabytes so we're going to be able to mine with this for like 10 years of course the hash rate is 5800 mega hash and when it comes to jazz miner i wouldn't be surprised if they had an option to overclock the miner and probably get over 6,000 mega hash. Now, power consumption is 1,900 watts. And other than that, one thing that I don't see here is how loud it is. But I can tell you right now, just by looking at it, this is gonna be a pretty loud miner. This is gonna be nothing you want indoors. But now that we've gone over these specifications, let's look at the nearest competitor the antminer e9 pro and let's compare profitability and here we are on mindtheasic.com and this is the antminer e9 pro now i personally have one of these and i've been mining ethereum classic i solo mine ethereum classic and i'm currently using it and getting paid out in bitcoin on two miners but we're going to go over that in a second now this is a great option for mining ethereum classic it is profitable it is powerful and it's pretty efficient it only uses around 2000 watts now let's check out the specifics down here so 3.68 giga hashes at 2200 watts currently making over seven dollars a day now this is based on a 10 cent per kilowatt hour electricity cost so electricity, you know, if you're going to be worried about paying your electricity, is $5.28, leaving you with a profit of $2.09. And I might have confused y'all about paying for electricity, but the rule of thumb when it comes to crypto mining, especially in a bear market, is to mine as much as possible, hold as many coins as possible and for as long as possible you want to pay the electricity out of your pocket you don't want to sell your coins to pay your electricity unless you have to we want to hold these coins until we reach those all-time highs and then you might want to consider cashing out so anyways that's the bitmain antminer e9 pro if you are interested in getting one this is absolutely a much cheaper option you know this is three thousand dollars when compared to almost ten thousand dollars now it isn't as efficient but really you can buy two of these you're going to be paying a little bit more in electricity but you're gonna have a higher hash rate 
than this right here so just something to think about you know whatever your situation is but anyways now let's go over the x16-p's profitability so we have a hash rate of 5800 mega hashes and a power consumption of 1900 watts let's go ahead and calculate that and currently this miner is making $11.70 a day, and the electricity cost is $4.56, leaving you with a profit of $7.14. But like I said earlier, like I said a few times already, if you hold those coins until we get back to all-time highs, instead of making $11 a day, hypothetically, allegedly, probably you would be making 140 dollars a day so that's pretty much going to do it for the jazz miner x16 p but before we get out of here i just want to give you some ideas of where to mine if you have an ethereum classic miner and what to mine if you have an ethereum classic miner so starting off with f2 pool you can just straight up mine ethereum classic but you can also dual mine ethereum classic and zill and this is going to be anywhere from 10 to 30 percent more profitable than mining ethereum classic alone now there is also two miners on two miners i solo mine ethereum classic for one week with my e9 pro and i found a solo block but unfortunately i didn't want to keep solo mining because i was worried about the next week would i find a block would i find two blocks three blocks or would i find zero blocks so Currently, I'm still using two miners with my E9 Pro, but I'm getting paid out in Bitcoin. And all you have to do is put in your Bitcoin address where you would put your Ethereum Classic address. Now, another option right here that might work with the Jazz Miner, I'm not 100% sure. It did not work with the uh, with the E9 Pro is nice hash so like i said it didn't work out with the e9 pro maybe it will work with the jazz miner now nice hash is going to be the most profitable pool to mine at and obviously you're going to get paid out in bitcoin but they also have an exchange to where you can exchange those coins for other coins so like i said it did not work out for the e9 pro but maybe it'll work out for the jazz miner now another option is unminable you can set up your ethereum classic asic miner to mine on un unminable and get paid out in over 70 different cryptocurrencies and i do have a link i believe it's just hustler if you want to use that code and that's going to save you a little bit on mining fees and then last but not least we have easel.me and with easel.me you're going to be able to mine zillica as well as um, ethereum classic so this is a good place for dual mining dual mining especially if you have one of those um old uh, not old but one of those mini ipolo ethereum classic oakley dokley so that's pretty much going to do it for today's video as well don't forget to like comment and subscribe my name's tech hustler happy mining peace